Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. I'm so excited. Look at what I have here. The brand new Monarch pencils. Now this is part of the Black Widow pencils. I'm so excited. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at any reviews or anything. I've stayed as neutral to it as possible so that I will be fresh viewing first impression for you as possible. I'm so excited. But I have something else sitting right here. A second set. <laughs> Steve and I decided to buy two sets so that we could give one away to one of you. So you need to watch to the end of this video where I will tell you how you can have a chance to win this set and a bonus item. This. A case for it as well. I'm so excited. Now before we dive in and start unboxing this really cool new product, I wanted to take a minute and say that we have a sponsor for this video. Now that's pretty unique and unusual for Coloring Bliss. We don't hardly ever take a sponsor and we're very picky about sponsors here and the reason we decided to take a sponsor for this video is because one, you know this person and two, it's a new product that I think will actually really benefit fit you as a colorist. So the person who is behind this product is Laurie Hudson. Now a lot of you know Laurie because she is the moderator over at our Coloring Pages Bliss Facebook group which is an amazing group and she does a fantastic job moderating for us. And she's come up with a really clever product that she is now doing a Kickstarter for and we are fully backing and supporting her so we would like to show you a message from Laurie so that you can learn about this product and before we run that footage I wanted to let you know that this is an affiliate type program so that if you do decide to support Laurie and this really cool product it will also support Coloring Bliss. A little bit of that money comes back to us so if you choose to support that that would be fantastic so let's run that message right now. Hi I'm Laurie and for those of you that don't know me I am actually Steven's sister and I'm the moderator for our group in Coloring Bliss. I'm really excited to come to you today, Stephen, so that I could sh share with you a project that I've been working on for the last two years. And I think you guys are gonna be super excited about what I've been doing too, and it will benefit you. Matthew has always loved art, and he loves coloring supplies. Anyone relate? <laughs> From a young age, he started drawing and coloring, and he did all this so much that most of the time that stuff ended up in a folder or in a bin, and we never were able to celebrate it, huh? And like also like, you tried putting in books and yeah. stuff, and it was too expensive. Yeah, the books are too expensive, yeah, right? to put like the single, all piece because it's like one page, one page is each art piece. Yep, exactly. So that's how I created this product that I wanted to share with you guys called Exhibit. And this is what it looks like and it's actually an attachment for the wall. It's a two-part system that lets you easily and quickly float art off the wall that you see in art galleries. And so I felt like a system like this really sends the message that your art is worth enough to be in its own art gallery. And as I was doing this, I thought, man, there's so many colorists. As I've moderated your group, I've seen that you guys do some incredible work, like exquisite work is the word I think of. And it deserves to be celebrated and elegantly displayed, just like your work, huh? <laughs> and so many of you have asked, what do we do with all these coloring pages that I've, I've made? And I hear you guys say, oh, I put them in a folder. I put them back in the coloring book that they came in. I think, oh, you guys need to celebrate these and you need to display them and show off your gifts that you have. And so I thought how exciting it would be to share this um, product with you guys.
um, we are launching this product today and the way we're doing that is on Kickstarter. Um, for those of you, most of you probably know what Kickstarter is, but what Kickstarter is is it's a, it's a crowdfunding um, site that allows us to take pre-orders. So people come on to our thing and say, yeah, I want, an, I want one, and they pre-order. And if we get enough pre-orders, we'll raise enough money. And with that money, we will be able to have this made yeah. by an injection mold. I would love to invite you to support this project and support our product and go and make a pre-order. I really do want to thank Jen and Steve for letting me have this opportunity to share this with you. It's been a, a labor of love and I just want to thank you guys um, as your moderator for this group. Thank you so much for being so kind and making it so easy for me to moderate. You guys are wonderful. I love to watch how you guys encourage and celebrate each other and give such good feedback. It really is. It's fun to be a moderator. I tell Stephen all the time how much I enjoy being the moderator for it and seeing all your wonderful pictures. So thank you so much and have a wonderful night. Thank you. Okay, welcome back from our sponsor video. And now we're going to get to why you're here, which is unboxing the Monarch pencils. And I actually have another thing that we're going to be unboxing in a little bit too. And that's this brand new adorable case. So we have two things to unbox. So we're going to start though with why you're here and that's the Monarch pencils. In the past, I have had some pencils sent to me from Black Widow, the three original sets these ones back here let's just get everything out here these three original sets were sent to me from black widow this one here the black widow the cobra pencils and the scorpion pencils were sent to me and then about a year later i purchased myself the skin set and now i have purchased the monarch pencils so that's kind of how this has all come to pass so now you know okay so we're going to unbox these now there is a total now of 144 pencils in the full set so that means i needed a new case to hold them all you guys know if you've watched the previous videos that I kind of have issues with the packaging <laughs> so I've decided that now that I have the full set full set syndrome satisfied <laughs> I am going to take them all out of their cases and put them into this new adorable case so that I don't have to think about ugly scorpions um, snakes and spiders. It'll just be this adorable case. Is it not the most adorable case you've ever seen? I can't <laughs> wait. Hopefully the actual case itself will be as good as the outer parts. There's links to this, links to all the pencils, everything in the video description. But let's start by unboxing the actual pencils. We've been discussing why. Why, Steve? <laughs> Is there a stag on the front of a, a case that says Monarch Pencils? So we're going to get that over with right away. Why do you think, Steve? I don't know. I'm wondering if it's a New Ze uh, sorry, an Australian thing. We know that the guys from Australia, maybe Monarch is diff uh, means something different there. Okay, so let's just talk real quick about the, um, what do you call this? The graphic design. The graphic design of the cases have been very controversial. We've talked about them um, in 2018. We talked about them in 2019. And now it's 2020 and we're talking about it still. So obviously the graphic design is working. We're talking about it. So I guess I have to get over it. The disgusting graphic design is working for him. We're talking about it. So there's a Black Widow spider here. Here, a cobra snake. Uh, the, the man who created this is a man, and so it's very masculine, masculine you know, so it's working for him. And then there's this uh, creepy skin thing going on here. And then they named it Monarch, and I assumed when I heard the word Monarch, what would you assume would be on the cover? Monarch butterfly. A monarch butterfly, going along with all of the bugs and everything. But no. It's a stag. <laughs> so I'm just going to get it out there. Why was it not a beautiful monarch butterfly? Oh, it would have been so beautiful. 
So yeah, that's my question to the designer of the Black Widow pencils. Why was it a stack? I'd love to know. Maybe there's some meaning behind the stack. So I'd love to know why it's a stack. And why doesn't he have legs? <laughs> <laughs> so that's my first picky thing. You guys come to me because I'm picky about my pencils and and you want to know my honest opinion and that's my first picky honest thing is why is it a stag and why does he have no legs? <laughs> so okay, we've been picky. All right, let's open this up and see. So it comes with a little sleeve, which is nice, but I probably will just put it away onto the um, shelf, so that's fine. So this is the first time I've taken the sleeve off, you guys. You guys are getting first impressions here. So now we can see the back. We've got a uh, Black Widow registered Take owner. The plastic off. Oh, okay. Then it won't be so shiny and so noisy. Let's just get this off. Okay, that's better. All right, tested and proved to be safe. I don't know what that means. All Black Widow pencils are non toxic, um, sourced from renewable energy. I don't know what that means either. Usually it means like like from a tree that's renewable, but I don't know what energy means. I guess I need to f go research that. This is their company. Um, it says Germany, but they're coming in from China. I know that for sure. They're made in China. Um, and then these are the colors. Now, just so you know, if you want to buy into the Black Widow system, this is not the kit to buy first. Um, it's a system, they all work together. Um, so you don't buy this to begin. You're gonna have big gaps in your color um, needs if you buy this one first. This is I, um, adds on to the system, okay? So let's take this tape off here. Oh. So it's kind of cool that it's a black tin, black with sort of gold trim. Here we go. Well, my choir of angels was really pathetic. Let's try again. Oh, there, that was better. <laughs> okay, I need scissors again though, because they've got it wrapped in plastic, which is fantastic. That helps with shipping. So the pencils will hold still while it goes down the road and Amazon and all that. They are available just on Amazon. Um, I did a little research on the actual product info on these. Um, and I found out that they are available open stock, but the only way to get it is to contact directly via email and order it that way. Never done it before. I don't know how easy it is to get them open stock or even how much per pencil it is. They're so pretty. Yeah, so my box is a little crunched. I don't know how that happened, but the pencils look fine. It's just the tray. They don't have as pleasing of a new pencil smell <laughs> as the Albrecht Durer's did. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe because it's a different wood, you know, it's just different wood. Okay, so look at all those pinks. This is kind of what I was talking about with the... Um, it's not a like a beginner set. These 48 pencils right here wouldn't get you started. So you wouldn't buy this as your first set to go into them. Oh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so it has an MN indicating Monarch set. And I'll show you the other ones, like the Cobra I think has a CB. Um, and these ones are dipped on the end, which is new. They started that with the skin set. And then uh, they're continuing their fun names. This one's called Green Slime. And that says Monarch. And then it has the antlers of the stag on it. Is, this, is stag the right word, Steve? Yeah. Stag or deer or I don't know. There. Buck. A buck. Okay. And then it's still the signature hexagonal pencil. And um, the core on these are 3.3 millimeter, I believe. I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah, 3.3 millimeter core, which is kind of a small core, you guys. Um, the skin tone pencils, in comparison, have a four millimeter core. Not too sure why they're doing two different size cores. So let's compare 
Um, now these came in back in 2019. I got these in February 2019. So I'd be curious to see if they're making these still the same way. I checked Amazon and the um, details on Amazon say these are still a four millimeter core. Okay, so you can see the difference that the, the suede colored one is the four millimeter from the skin tone set and the green one is the 3.8 millimeter. So I'm not sure why they're doing two different size cores. Um, you can see we've got a bigger dipped end here in the um, new Monarch set. And now let me show you from the older sets. So we'll open up the Scorpion set here. Take that little swatch away. So these haven't been dipped. Um, have white print, has a little scorpion on the end. So that's kind of like the progress they've made. So I don't know if the original sets, because these are back from 2018 is when I got these. So I don't know if they've started dipping these, if that's all the new ones. So if you have purchased the white tins recently, I'd love to know, are they changing up the way, the style of their pencils? Let us know. But these are also a smaller core here um, on the Scorpion and the Cobra and the Black Widow. So the only ones with the bigger core are the skin tone pencils. Those are the ones with the bigger core. Okay, so that's the, the basics of the different sets. They all have the really cool black with the black wood. They're, this is a really pretty pencil. They're really neat that way. Okay, so let's look, um, we kind of compared, get the lids on. Let's look at what colors come. That's the big one for me. Now, will they fill in some of the color gaps? I think we were missing some blues. That was one of the things. Oh, there's a few blues. So we get 48 pencils in this set. We've got some new blues, some more grays a few new purples, a couple, well, actually quite a few greens. Look at all the greens. Lots of greens. And a whole bunch of pinks and oranges. I don't know if we were lacking in pinks and oranges before. Let's take a peek. Okay, this is my swatch book. You guys know I love swatching. So I have all of the Scorpion pencils swatched from before. I haven't swatched the new ones. We're gonna do that. You mean the Black Widow pencils? Yeah, what did I say? Scorpion. Scorpion. <laughs> scorpions on the brain. <laughs> Creepy scorpions. Okay, so here they are. So like I said, if you want to see the uh, previous videos where I have unboxed and used the Black Widow pencils, the you want to go back and look at the links that are in the video description, but they're back from October 2018, February 2019, and now we've got this one, which is August 2020. So this is the original Black Widow set right here. And I have it written that it's a 3.8 millimeter core, but I think they are smaller than that. I think they're 3.3 millimeter core. Mm -hmm. So not too sure on that. This is the set here. And then this is the first row here for the um, Scorpion right here. Again, you can tell because it says SC for Scorpion. And then here is the rest of the Scorpions right here. These are the colors you get if you buy the Cobra set. And then here are the two skin tone sets, the light and the dark. And then when we did that review on the skin tone set, we talked about how some of them felt like they were duplicates. And we got a ton of new pinks and oranges in that light skin tone set. That's why I'm a little surprised to see so many more in this same grouping. That's a little bit of a surprise to me. But I am really excited to see the blues down here. This is exciting, because if I remember right, we were lacking in blues in these other sets. So that's exciting that we got some more blues. Okay, so I think 
what I want to do is I'm going to hit a time lapse here and I'm going to swatch out the new colors so that I can get a feel for the new pencils. I'm going to pay attention to how centered the pencils are because that's been a problem in previous sets. We've had some off-centered cores and I'll let you know, do they feel as soft and creamy like they did before? Um, and then how do I feel about the new color selection? So let's cue the montage and let you watch all the swatching appear on the page. By the way, if you love color pencils like I do, or if you want to get better at coloring with color pencils, we have a brand new four part workshop series called Color Pencils Fast Track. And it's dedicated to helping you get fast tracked at coloring with your color pencils. We're starting with beginner level and taking you all the way through advanced in just four quick workshops. Come on over to Coloring Bliss and we'll tell you all about it. It's part of our partner workshop series and it's fantastic. You're going to love it. Come and join us. It's so much fun. Okay, we got them all swatched and um, let's take a quick look at the colors that we have here. So as you can see, um, this is a good overview of why this is not a standalone set. For instance, there's no really good cherry red. We've got no good like bright sunny yellow. Um, there's you know, no black. So this definitely is not a standalone set. It wasn't designed to be a standalone set. It's um, a definitely an add-on to the other pencils. So don't buy it expecting it to fulfill all of your color pencil needs. Um, we do have a lot of colors that I suspect are going to be very similar to some of the other pencils we have. I won't know that until we swatch them side by side. As far as the off-center issues, we had one, two, three, four, five, six pencils that I felt like were off-centered. Most of them were just minorly off-centered, but enough that I was going to have to be aware of them as I uh, use them. Uh, if you have an off-centered pencil, you have to be careful when you sharpen them and use them sometimes. There was only one that was extremely off-centered and it was this one, the green T number MN088. And I think it's off-centered enough that you will be able to see that when I rotate it, especially this direction. You can see how high the wood comes on this side, and then when I rotate it, how low the wood comes on this side of the core. Um, the problem with that is that as I sharpen it, will I be able to get enough of the core exposed that I'm not bumping into that black wood? The black wood does cause um, a black streak in my coloring, and so that can be a problem. So of the six that were off-centered, there was only one that was really off-centered. So is that a deal breaker for the Black Widow pencils? No, not necessarily, but it is something to be aware of. Um, these are not high quality artist grade pencils. These are more mid-grade um, standard type pencils. So a few issues like this is to be expected and it may be something that you could contact the makers of the Black Widow pencils and ask them for a replacement if it's something that is really bothering you. So just be aware of that. So I think the next thing I would like to do is open up my new case and take all of the pencils from all the sets, so all 144 pencils, and roughly put them in order as far as the artist color will. And then that will give us an idea if we now have a more um, complete set of colors, a good selection from every, um, every part of the color wheel. So let's take a look together at this new case that I've purchased. I'm really excited about it. The case is supposed to hold 166 pencils, so definitely plenty for the Black Widow set. 
And um, if you want to put gel pens in it, it's supposed to hold 112 pen gel pens. And it was only $18 on Amazon as far as the date of this filming of this video. That's US dollars. Like I said, there's links to um, the case and all the pencils in the video description if you are interested in it. And this was only one of the styles. It was called Glasses, was the name of this style. And I picked it because of a couple things. One, I wanted it to hold more than what the Cobra set came with. Not the Cobra, the Black Widow set came with. So if I wanted to throw in a few extra pencils into here, I could, or a pencil extender or an eraser, that kind of thing, I could do that. I also wanted a, a case that would hold the pencils in sets of three. So this does that. Um, one of my favorite other brands of pencil cases is the Global Art um, cases. And they hold the pencils in sets of three as well. Um, right now I only have two to a loop in this particular case. Um, but this case here, like the Global Art cases, will hold three to a loop, which I love. You guys know I like to organize my pencils in light, mediums, and dark. So that means three pencils to a loop. So that's what I was looking for when I was shopping for a new case for these pencils. So I'm just looking to see how this case works. It's nice. So we've got a back, a front, two leafs, and they all have the three loops the three to a loop, so that's good. It says that there's 54, was it, loops? Uh, I don't think I wrote that down. Um, I think it said 54 loops, but I'm not sure. And then the name of the manufacturer of this case was BTSKY. And then it has a zip pouch in the back where I could put a swatch chart or, um, you know, some scratch paper, a pencil sharpener, an eraser, that kind of thing can go in the back here. And then it's got a nice little handle. So I'm quite pleased with it, but I won't be 100% sure how I feel about it until we have filled it up. But it feels good. So yeah, that's how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to hit fast forward for you so you don't have to sit here and watch as I kind of come up with a rough layout of all these pencils, all 144 in a rough pattern as far as color wheel. So I'm gonna grab my color wheel to aid me in this. Okay. Hopefully it will help me. And I usually start with the yellows and I usually go, I think this way. And in the yellow oranges and then I can add browns at the end. You'll see, I'll show you. Uh, wish me luck. Sometimes this is quite an epic adventure. So I'm not gonna be too picky because um, Steve and I have a plan to do um, some other projects with these pencils. So this is just the first rough step and to kind of see how this case works. So here we go. As you're watching us organize these pencils, in case you didn't notice, we are back in our art studio here in Salt Lake. But we do still have some fun footage to share with you from our journeys. We made our way through a beautiful cherry farm and on up to Glacier National Park. So I'll have Steve share some of that footage for you now. Enjoy! Okay, Steve came over to help me get the last of the pencils roughly organized into this case. So my first impressions of the case is 
It's pretty awesome. Like I said, it organizes the pencils in threes. Um, there's a bit of a zipper issue right here, which I hope will resolve. I hate zipper issues. It's one thing about the Global Art cases. I have never, ever had a zipper issue with those Global Art cases. So hopefully that won't be a problem. You know how when you've got one tooth that doesn't yeah. sit quite right? That's what's happening right here. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the only issue I'm having with the case. Other than that, it's pretty fantastic. So let me show you. Steve's going to look at them with me, and we'll see what we ended up with. Okay, so this is really quick, rough organizing so we're going to spend some time getting them better organized but at least you can get a kind of overall if you decide to invest in the full set so this is 144 pencils here now all the whole black widow collection so over here we've got blacks whites and grays so this is how many you end up with with the black whites and grays over here and then we move into browns and tans over here that's these here, browns and tans, and a few greenies. Let me lift this up a bit, there. Um, one thing that I, I will say about the um, Black Widow pencils is he's gotten better at making them um, quick to read. They're dipping them farther down with the stag. I like that. And they're really easy to read. I really appreciate that. Like, it's a pet peeve of mine with the Faber-Castell polychromos, how difficult they are to read. So, well done with that. Okay, so, yeah. Um, lots of browns and neutrals to pick from. I think that's thank you to the skin tone dark set. I think that's where a lot of those browns came from. Okay, then here we come into where we can start getting a feel for the balance of the set. This is blue greens and green land right here. One full page of blue greens and greens. And then we move into top blues. It blues. Looks like. A couple blues here some blues here, and then blues into blue-violets. So are we still lacking in blues? Maybe so. We'll see when mm, we... Maybe the true blue area, but it transitions nicely into the blue-greens and blue-violets. Yeah. So, so far the only area I'm feeling... We've got some good greens here, some nice yellowy greens. Lots of blue greens, um, but like the true bright blues, maybe that's one place we're lacking still. Then we move into blue violets and into violets and into red violets and pinks. I don't think we're going to be lacking in pinks when we flip the page here, but this is our violet selection here, range of violets. It's decent, pretty good, I think. And then we flip the page and we come into pink land. <laughs> Lots of pinks, not lacking. If you like pinks and red tones in general, um, we, they've got you covered here with this set. So if you love pinks, you can collect these and, and have a pink party. <laughs> so here we, we start with more of a reddish pinks and then move into the orangey pinks and reds here. And then over here, more orangey pinks down here. I don't know if you can see that. If I lift this end of the, there you can see. Orangey pinks, um, peachy tones, and then we move into oranges and yellows. And yellows again, I feel like, like the bright true yellows, maybe we're lacking. Yeah. That's pretty typical. Um, yellows seem to be a, a hard thing for art supplies. We find that to be a problem in a lot of even high art end art supplies. They seem to lack in yellows. Now, we did dump a whole bunch of yellowish things back here in the browns and in the neutrals, so maybe we'll be able to harvest when and we find... we put them all together, yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll find some yellowies back here that belong up in the yellows. Hopefully that's the case. Um, so my, my first impression without actually swatching side by side everything is we're still lacking in maybe a few more blues would be good. 
and then yellows, some good true yellows. But I don't know. I think this definitely were better balanced than ever before with the addition of the Monarch set. So I think we're definitely better balanced. So I'm happy about that. We've got some good grays in there. You guys know I'm a sucker for pretty grays, so I'm excited about that. And I think that with every set he comes out with, um, the pencils themselves are getting better, although I wish he'd gone for the four millimeter on the new set. And um, But I have no idea. Maybe it's a supply issue. Um, maybe the companies can't make them in the four millimeter. I have no idea. I'm not a manufacturer. I've never done that kind of thing, so I have no idea. Idea. I do know that I don't think he plans on making a, like a tin that will hold everything. I think f from from what I've read, he's going to stick with this kind of set. So if you want to collect the Black Widows, you're going to end up with a bunch of tins like this. So um, don't wait for a complete set in one tin. I don't think that's in the near future. And I haven't heard of any rumors of additional sets to be coming out in any time, anytime soon. When they came out with the skin set, there was rumors of this Monarch set to be coming out soon. And then I think it just took him longer than he anticipated to get the Monarch set out. That's why it's been a whole year since the last time we had this discussion. So that's what I know from my best advice to you if you love the Black Widows and you want to be in the know of the Black Widows is to follow him on Facebook. That's where I get my knowledge. And then also in Amazon, that's where he does all of his selling and he answers questions on the question and answer section down, you know, as you scroll to the bottom of Amazon, he answers questions there. So that's a good place to get some answers if you have additional questions about the Monarch, I mean, the Black Widow pencils. So, um, like I said before, um, they're a good mid-grade pencil. They're not like an artist quality. They don't have the light fast stuff um, dialed in. They don't, they kind of all over the place with their core sizes. Some are off-centered. So there's some issues there that come with a China-made mid-grade pencil, but they are super smooth. Um, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video in the near future where we do some coloring with these pencils, so watch for that if you like this kind of video and you want to make sure you see me do some coloring with them make sure you hit subscribe and ring that bell so that YouTube will let you know when that video comes up so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah I hope you have a wonderful colorful blissful day bye bye everyone Okay, you made it to the end of the video, and now I get to tell you how you have a chance to win a set of these beautiful pencils that I've been showing you. This set right here, perfect in a wrapper and everything. When Steve and I purchased my set of pencils, I wanted to get you guys a set that we could give away. We're so excited to give you a chance to win this set, and also I wanted to give you a chance to win the adorable pencil case that I've been showing you during this video as well. So together, the prize for the giveaway is about a $50 prize. It's so exciting. I can't wait for one of you to win it. There are links in the video description. So just follow the link to coloringbliss.com and it will give you lots of different ways to enter for a chance to win this big prize right here. I'm so excited for one of you to win. Now we're going to be announcing the winner on September 1st. So that means you have until August 31st, 2020 to get all your entries entries in. So don't delay, get over there, get your entries in. I'm so excited. Now, if you're watching this video after August 31st, 2020, don't worry, we're going to do another giveaway. So just make sure you've subscribed and hit the little notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and upcoming chances to win our future giveaways. Good luck, everybody.